Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on finding a tangent line to an ellipse. We're given an equation for the ellipse. First thing we need to do is find a derivative. Now since y is not explicitly in term of x, we will have to use implicit differentiation. Okay, That all it says is every time you take derivative against y, you have to treat y as a function of x. Thus, you have to use chain rule. So the first time taking derivative, I have a 10x, that's the easy one, minus 6. Then I'm going to take a derivative of x times y. I'm going to use product rule. Derivative of the first term, which is 1, okay, 1 times y, which 1, which is y. Plus, leave the first term alone. Derivative of the second one is dy dx, and that gives me this one. Next, though, I'm going to take a derivative of this one, so it's 10y dy dx. Now remember y is a function of x, that's why I have an additional term tagging along, which is dy dx. Let's gather the dy dx together, that's the term we're looking for. For this one, I have a minus 6x plus 10. Okay. The rest of the stuff, I'm going to move it over, I have a minus 10x. Here, I have a minus 6y, so I have a plus 6y. So my dy dx, which will give me the slope, for the tangent line is equal to, um, let's see, let's take the minus sign, so it's 10, 10, 6, uh, I think I missed the sign here, 10, 6x times 10y plus 10y. Okay, this is where I missed. Okay. So I will have a minus 6x plus 10y and the minus 10x plus 6y. So this minus sign is driving me nuts, so I'm going to move it around a little bit. So I have, uh, let's divide a minus top and bottom. I have a 10x minus 6y. Okay. And the bottom I have 6x minus 10y. Now, if minus sign doesn't bother you, by all means, keep it in there. Okay, since we're looking for a horizontal, which means the slope equal to 0, I'm going to set the top equal to 0. I have a 10x minus 6y equal to 0, which gives me an explicit expression that x is equal to 3y divided by 5. Okay, this is for the slope. Now, this is only true for horizontal one. Has the teacher or on a test, they're asking for a vertical one, which, of course, you're going to be setting the bottom equal to 0. Okay, for our case, x equal to 3y over 5 for the horizontal line. And now I'm going to plug this equation back into my ellipse. So I have 5x squared minus 6x times y. I'm leaving space for the x here. And then plus 5y squared. I'm going to use the ellipse equation to figure out what point I'm looking at. Okay, so here's a 3y over 5. 3y over 5. And then 3y over 5 and then 5 squared. So let's see, I have 9y squared over 5 minus 18y over 5 uh, y and then plus 5y squared equal to 16. Let's clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to multiply by 5 on everything. So I have 9y squared minus 18y squared plus 25y squared is equal to 16 times 5. Uh, let's see, what do I have on this side? I have a 16, I believe. 16y squared is equal to 16 times 5. Okay, so all, all I did was clean it up a little bit. Just a little twist it over here. Uh, from here, you can see y is equal to, pretty easy, let's see what I have. y is equal to radical 5. That's my name. So if y is equal to plus minus radical 5, going back, I'll see I find x is equal to 3 times radical 5 over 5. Um, that's for radical 5. That's one point. The other point is x equal to minus 3 radical 5 over 5, and that's for minus radical 5. Okay? Hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.